Okay, we're back here with everybody on the internet. Oh, it's better on the internet. Oh, so much better. Oh, television oh, is too man. much bloody regulation, like in your monologue. Uh, <laughs> Over regulated. <laughs> now we're free, finally. There's nothing in that. It's been a little bit. Right. We are, we could be completely free. Open your shirt if you. Yeah, another oh. button. Oh. There you go. It's oh. Okay, all right. Are we talking about anything serious? Because <laughs> I'll compose myself if we are. Uh, no. Fuck no. It's, a, it's an entertainment show. Uh, Olivia, what do you make of the strange relationship between Trump and Scarborough and Brzezinski? Uh, those are the hosts of our morning news show called Morning Joe. I went on that before. You did. As Memorably. Fact, it uh, was memorable. I remember it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he, he antagonizes them, does he? The, your president? That you well, talk? he used to be friends, right? Is that the deal? And, the, and right. then they became unfriendly and he accused her of having a bad facelift. It was just... That was the gist, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were friendly. Um, Joe Scarborough was accused of being uh, too kind to him throughout the election when it really, you know, mattered in terms of people taking him seriously at the beginning, especially. Um, but and he turned. It, well, Joe they, turned. Yeah, they did become critical um, and... and you know, sort of in a very emotional way. It seemed personal. Um, and they Personal from them or Trump? Both. I mean, really? Trump was, you know, Trump started attacking them in a really vitriolic way, you know, even more than a year ago, uh, insinuating that they had some kind of, you know, personal relationship that was untoward in some way. Which they did. Um, and, uh, <laughs> you know. Right? Aren't and, they uh, together? Aren't they a couple? Yeah, but untoward, I said. He was kind of, uh, he was sort of, uh, he was suggesting that there was something going that on that wasn't untoward. okay. What's an untoward? Um, What's a, what? Anyway, it became something very personal. Savory bill. It became something sleazy. <laughs> something uncomfortable. Like, Monkey business. Like... Hullabaloo. <laughs> filth. <laughs> smut. <laughs> Mucky business. But it became it's very, very... Down. <laughs> Like what? It became I don't very... know. We've got to get to the root of it. <laughs> it became very personal. Um, and, then, and then as president, you know, he attacked her for having uh, plastic surgery and claimed right. incorrectly there were photos of this event that she was bleeding at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. So, uh, He's obsessed with that, isn't he? He's obsessed yeah. with the iconography of femininity. Uh, yes. That's he's... actually true misogyny. Yeah. No, he's a bad... He's a bad dude. I, I'm getting you... the idea you don't like him. I don't like him. And I, and <laughs> he sued me once, you know. He's... Honest? Yeah, absolutely. He sued me. <laughs> what for, mate? You can't... Yeah, I could not even... Uh, I'll try to tell you. <laughs> I... He... <laughs> You know, he had a birther thing. He accused Obama of not being born here. Okay. Yeah, I remember so that. I was, and then we saw I, that in England. We were bemused. Okay. okay. <laughs> so after Obama released his birth certificate, then Trump went after his college records as if it was <coughs> suspicious that a black guy would be in college. He's working his way through his life. He right. starts at the birth certificate, then the college, and then well, who knows what next. So I said, I w and he offered. <laughs> at least it's chronological. Right. <laughs> That, in a way, and is more than I thought him capable of. <laughs> he understands how time works. <laughs> At least one aspect of it. Linear time. <laughs> Linear all right, time. All right. So, listen to... <laughs> Ow! So, my so... arm! <laughs> I'll right. sue you! <laughs> <laughs> this is America, isn't it? That can happen. Yeah, it totally could happen. That's go why on, we need on. a little less regulation. But, uh... What the fuck? You were saying that oh, yeah. Trump okay, sues okay, you. Okay, all right. You get sued by Trump okay, in this story. All right, all right, let me finish. Okay. So, he offered... <laughs> he offered Obama, Trump offered Obama $5 million if he would release his college records. I know, that itself is so gauche to offer the president... It's vulgar. It's, it's vulgar. That wouldn't he's happen a, with the Queen. He's a vulgar man. Okay. <laughs> So I, as a joke, offered Trump five million dollars if he could prove he was not the son of an orangutan, because we showed this <laughs> picture. <laughs> because he has the same color hair as the yeah, orange hair funny, orangutan. Funny. Yeah, there, there it is. And, well, we had this. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, that's good, that's good. so, so, this moron then sues me to rec because he went into court with his birth certificate. I made Trump produce his birth certificate because he's such an idiot. He went in as if it was going to say orangutan mm. on the bus, as if that was even possible for a, a human to have a baby with a... Mm. And so he sued me for the $5 million because he proved he wasn't an orangutan. He's also... I, I, I can't, and now he's the president. I can't even... He's also fundamentally misunderstood the theory of evolution. <laughs> 
among, among many Phil, other things. It, yes. I feel like it explains so much about Trump, though. It's so stupid, but he just loves to fuck with people. And I think he you can really, yes. you can look at so many things that he's done now in the White House and explain it by saying, oh, well, he's just fucking with people, which is not what you want in a president, obviously, which is not a partisan thing to say. It's just factual. It doesn't mean I'm on a team. It's just factual to say. Okay, to we're not on the same him. team. We'll establish that. It's, just, it's not a team. It's yeah. just not a team. You right. Know? Let's not have team. I'm so anti-team. Team. You it's know, just, I don't no. have a team. Yeah, it's just like reality right. and then other stuff. Right. Um, and <laughs> anyway. I, I, like I go with people. whoever makes the most sense, which is mostly the Democrats. Not always. <laughs> Harold, is the Democratic Party moving too far left? Uh, some parts of it are, and like I, I define left by just sort of being unrealistic about what can get done. The Democrats came right. out, I guess it was a few months ago, with a plan called a better deal to help what our plan was to help grow the economy and create more yeah. jobs and raise wages. That'll start a fire. Right, and it didn't, it didn't really resonate with anybody. I think we gotta talk about growing again. We gotta talk about protecting people's privacy. This Equifax thing where people, 140 million Americans had their, their data stolen. We, we as a party have gotta stand up for that, but at the same time figure out how we're gonna grow businesses, grow wages, and for that matter, grow the economy. And we can do it without taking from people. We can do it by, by growing the economy. When we do that, I think we'll begin to get on path to getting something that will resonate with more Americans. Because something, as much as we talk about this guy, and as out of, out of control as he is on foreign policy and economic ideas, he won the race. And it was nine months, it seems like it was nine years ago, it was only nine, ten months ago that he was, he was installed as president. We've got to understand, we're not going to win, again, just by complaining about him. If he offers a tax plan, we've got to counter with a tax plan. If he offers a health plan that's bad, we've got to offer a health plan that's better. I think what Bernie Sanders did around uh, the single-payer plan, I like Obamacare. I, didn't, I, I think parts of it are working. We've got to figure out how we shore it up and strengthen it. To abandon it, like Bernie wanted to do right away, I don't think it was the right thing to do, and certainly not with the Republicans proposed doing so. We got a ways to go. We'll find our okay. way there, and uh, we might even get Russell Brand to help us articulate so, some of this. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> That's what's required. All right. Uh, I Russ don't understand a word you're saying, but I love listening to you. So hopefully we can. <laughs> I understand everything. Thank you, Bill. Thank I you. Asked Sounds Russell. to me uh, that some mistakes were made around the time of the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> <laughs> Old mad King George <laughs> don't seem so mad now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, final question. Uh, Russell Brand, what is the sleaziest thing you ever did? Oh, don't say that. I've done some ever such sleazy things, and now I'm thinking you just about purity. Said you. <laughs> oh, sle sleazy. You know, in your past, like what was the craziest orgy or whatever, you know? What, what, what is the moment? Bill, the, if you're the, referring the, to the Russell him... Brand Easter hot tub party, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm telling you that was a religious festival. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that by the end of it, that hot tub looked like oatmeal is a different matter. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. You asked for sleeves. You've got <laughs> sleeves. <laughs>